Inherited metabolic diseases are rare genetic diseases where a person can't break down or metabolize certain types of proteins or fats or carbohydrates. Um, they're serious diseases and if they're untreated they can cause symptoms including brain damage or mental retardation or liver failure or even death. So the treatment for these inherited metabolic diseases involves medication and a special diet. Um, the diet is medically prescribed. Our program for inherited metabolic diseases at Mount Sinai treats probably over about 600 patients now with these rare inherited diseases. And we're in fact one of the largest programs in the country that cares for patients with these rare inherited diseases. We're one of the largest newborn screening referral programs in the country. Probably between 70 and 80 percent of our patients are children and infants. Um, we treat them for life. This program is immensely life-changing for children. They have to follow severe dietary restrictions and that poses on their lives a lot of stress. If they share something in the park or in school that is not allowed, depending on the condition, they can end up in the emergency room within 24 hours, severely ill. Many of our families don't have the financial means to purchase special foods that were designed to meet the needs of these children. It's a wonderful program that brings food to their table at no cost to them, but from the hearts of everybody that is behind donating. The Food for Life program was really important to us because Genetic Disease Foundation's mission is to educate, prevent, and to do research for genetic diseases. Uh, the GDF really wanted to make a difference uh, to these children's lives, to these adults who even come here, um, parents who have to adjust their lives to be able to feed their kids in a very specific way in order for them to stay healthy. So um, that really touched us at the GDF. It's not fair that these kids can't have a slice of pizza, uh, a big you know, a rotisserie chicken dinner. Uh, they can't have a bowl of spaghetti um, in the way other ordinary children who don't have these diseases can. Well, some of these kids and adults come here once a week, a couple times a month, and you know, we wanted to make it more welcoming, more fun. We wanted them to look forward to coming. And so we just wanted to make it a more colorful, inviting, interactive place to, come, to be. There are these little flashes of time and imagery and, and colors and smells that we keep in our memory. And I remember so many of them from my childhood. Uh, and it's great if we can capture that and give that to children. Uh, it makes, in their adulthood, they will come back to these mom beautiful moments and, and they will grow from it. It's great to bring a human scale into that type of environment for kids because they'll remember details and something and you, and you cannot take and, and rewind the tape. There's not a lot of kids uh, that are suffering from these issues, so diseases, so um, it will give them a little bit of strength. They're going to be coming back to this place over and over again um, and it's something nice to take with them. Is there more? And do we need to put more plastic? If you can do this, like. I didn't want to spend too much time on five of them. And do one more coat over. 
I have to do it because I don't want it on the How ceiling. How amazing! But it's, I'm gonna smear it. Get to pick one. Pick one. This is so cool. Oh, it's a little bit of 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 a little bit <laughs> nice. Yeah, we didn't have vegetables. What kind of food for like